guys, Kim Not Stop here. I got my girl Virginia with me. Say hi, Virginia. Oh, hi. <laughs> We're homies. You're a girl of power. So today, we are talking about something very important. We are talking about body image. Dun, dun, dun. A lot of women are picking apart their bodies. Self-conscious and weird. You know, tugging at their shirt and making comments like, or looking on Instagram like, oh, she's so pretty, and oh, I wish I looked like her. Mm, cut it out. I want everyone to feel good about themselves, and that is the main point of working out and being healthy, is so that you can feel good about yourself. It's not easy, it doesn't come naturally to us, but we just make an effort to do these steps that I'm gonna share with you today. My very narrow hips and my small big butt. Arm too. I have really big arms. <laughs> so I have really long arms. Yeah, so long. <laughs> They're like freakishly long. And um, I have huge hands. Oh yeah. I have my massive. Are tiny. Yeah. I can like generally do this to most girls and sometimes a lot of guys. Which is like embarrassing when you're like dating yeah, and you're like, like hey, weird. let me like, you want to hold hands and then your hand is like oh, over there. So I have really big feet. Oh yeah, and I'm really short. And I don't have a thigh gap, which people have noticed. I have no, have thigh, gap. no thigh gap. I am either. But if you want thigh gap, you break your leg, walk a little bit while you're <laughs> That's how you do it. Like, thigh gap! <laughs> thigh gap! That's my list of things that I am self-conscious of. I'm self-conscious of my short leg. Do you, it looks like drum sticky something you bite out. Drumsticks are delicious. Ah. <laughs> thunder time. I have thunder time. Shoot, she surfs and she's in a bathing suit. I see her in a bathing suit all the time. We live in California now. And her hips and her thighs look great in a bathing suit. Not to have about my lucky belly. Her lucky belly. No, you don't have a freaking luck. Really? But actually, if I'm really type here, I look like a dentist because I have like muffin around here. Muffin top. Yeah, muffin top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of the best ways to handle getting better, more positive body image is to start taking all those things that you were self-conscious of and trying to see the good side in it. It's what makes you unique. Virginia calls her belly, she calls it her lucky belly, which yeah, is a positive yeah. thing. And not what we talk, not be your belly, just lucky belly. I have this really funny muscle on the side of my leg that I used to be really self-conscious of, especially if I wear dresses and heels because I feel like it's really prominent. Pretty sure I got the muscle from riding fixed gear bikes and skating back in the day and still doing that. But my roommate, Allie, started calling this muscle my superhero muscle, which makes me now love it. I love this muscle because I'm like, no one else, no one in the world with this lump. It is my superhero muscle. I'm gonna show you my superhero muscle now. See that? That lump right there? Yep. That, guys, is now called my superhero muscle because that's a positive thing. So I wanna tell everyone out there, viewers out there, to be very aware of, of how you speak about your body because yeah. what you say about yourself. Well, nobody noticed and and that they, they point it out. So yeah, it's true. Nobody noticed. Like she never noticed my big feet, my big hands until no, I said something. She pointed like, out. I have... Oh yeah, your big ears. But I love your personality. I know. Thank you. Thank you. And that should not be a bad thing. Some women think that's negative because that means they're not pretty. Oh, like if yeah, a guy, yeah. if a guy was to say she has a great personality, that implies that she's not pretty. Let's cut that shit out, okay? How about oh, I have a great personality? And I'm cute, because I say I'm cute. I'm cute personality, and so do you, I'm cute personalities. As, as a good practice in your life is to compliment people on things other than their physical appearance, okay? It's an easy opener to say to someone, oh, I like that top, or I like your hair. That's oh, yeah. 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 So if it's someone you're just meeting, fair enough, that makes total sense, you know, because you don't know them yet. But once you get to know somebody, you'll see, you know, if someone makes you laugh, I think you're really funny. You know, compliments that reinforce abilities and not necessarily physical attributes. Do you wear boyfriend jeans? No. I wear skinny pants. Do a fuck up the time. 
show off your thunder thighs. So that's like, it's part of dressing for your body type, right? Mm -hmm. I'm short and I have um, a thickness and a muscliness to myself. So something that I avoid wearing, short sleeves that come to here, it makes my shoulders look really big. Like kind of like a football player. So pretty much everything I wear is a tank top or a cap sleeve. How do you avoid wearing clothes that make me look short? Because like, I got like to wear up here. I don't care about my belly body. Like deep over. It looks really it looks good. good. Accentuates your waist, no, accentuates no, her no. hips. The reason I like this dress, this American Apparel dress, I like this because I think it makes my butt look bigger, which is something I actually like. The lighter color on the bottom, and I have very narrow hips, so when I wear this dress, I feel like I actually can see some hips. There's a little bit of definition going on here, and the best part is this part, right? Oh, I love it. Oh, yes. Yeah. And it's reversible. The back part can go lower, or it can go lower in the front, so if you're showing off with, like, you know, a nice rack, mm -hmm. you might flip it around and wear it the other side. Do you weigh yourself? No. Oh, uh, no. It doesn't mean anything to me. Like, no. Because the biggest difference is how you feel. So weighing yourself on a regular basis, I don't really think is that effective unless you really are trying to stick to a specific weight loss goal and you want to keep yourself on track. Other than that, if you're maintaining or you like the way you look or you know that you're living a healthy lifestyle, like Virginia and I live a very healthy lifestyle, we don't need to pick apart the little pounds here and there. My, um, my. For instance, I went to the doctor last week. I don't weigh myself, I don't have a scale. They weighed me, I was eight pounds heavier. Eight pounds. But she looked great. But I feel the exact same and I'm wearing, wearing all the same clothes and I don't see it, I don't visually see it, and you would tell me, right? Kim, um, you get a little... to gym. <laughs> there are plenty of people in the world who are doing amazing things, who are being artistic, creative, are breaking records in Yeah, because Kim, you take me all the time. <laughs> you live your life. You just gotta live your life and enjoy your body because if you spend the majority of your life hating your body, you're never gonna get the opportunity to live in it and really push its limits and find out what it can do. Make positive statements about the things that you are self-conscious about. Lucky belly, monkey arms. I can palm a basketball, can you? My superhero muscle. Give it like a positive spin. Compliment your friends on things other than their physical appearance. Yeah. And you might find that you'll have more interesting conversation. Yeah, right? that's very true. Than talking about my size one jeans I just fit into. Oh, she never had to wear jeans. Yeah. Last thing, throw away the scale. Get rid of the oh, scale. Oh, don't own it. It's much and breaking thing. I hate you, scale. Just, just bash it to pieces. Yeah, yeah. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any friends that struggle with body image issues, if you yourself struggle and you want someone else to know how you feel, you want them to start complimenting you on things other than your physical appearance, send this video along. It's something that everyone should have an open and honest discussion about. I'll see you guys next week. I'm Kim Nonstop, this is Virginia, and we're gonna go rock out some world.